My name is Rafael Sanson. I represent Mexico. I was born in Mexico. Um, my parents brought me at the age of three. I do remember some vivid memories of me crossing the border. Eventually, we, we ended up getting to the U.S. around like, you know, 1999. The way I started my journey in CrossFit, I found it kind of late. I played football growing up. I played football in high school. Then from there, I wanted to pursue football, so I went to Juco College back in my hometown. And one of our instructors, one of our very first classes there, the instructor had a CrossFit gym. And so my brother had already talked to me about CrossFit. I kind of knew what CrossFit was, but not until we actually went to, to, to the University of Fresno State, we finally just decided to try CrossFit because she offered extra credit. So yeah, long story short, we, uh, she got us involved. We started it, it was around like 2017, 2018. Then, I mean, I just fell in love with it. That was kind of like the, the, the void of filling that void of like, you know, the competitiveness that I started with, with football and then just being able to compete in CrossFit. From day one, I, I fell in love with it. Uh, it feels amazing. It almost feels like unreal to be training in the headquarters and with everyone here. Honestly, it's, it's freaking dope. You know, looking at everything, all the banners up there, you know, and just being here with everyone, it feels amazing. Uh, I've been doing pros since the start, so I'll say two years, going on two years. The whole program is, I mean, it's, it's super, I feel like it's in a way it's tailored to, to yourself, the person. Um, Percent-wise, for, for weight, rowing intervals, like everything is, is tailored to the person. Uh, honestly, I felt like I've improved a lot since I've uh, started with, uh, with HWPL. Some of the things I've accomplished with the programming, I mean, I've, um, me and uh, Luis Oscomora, we uh, were, national champions so mexico's national champions uh that's one accomplishment and also making it to semifinals two years in a row uh before starting the programming i missed the semi the semis within like 10 spots away but since i started the programming every year since then i've, I've made it to semis so. in circle like as part of the pro um since they do our program but this is my first time meeting them in person Training. i'm buzzing it's like such a great feeling and just seeing everybody lift and have fun and be together it makes my heart happy the reason why hwpo really stuck to me for me it was really the attention to detail and everything they they do um the attention to detail on your lifts the attention to detail on your rowing intervals your speed, the t attention to detail on all the accessory movements, even during the Metcons, even during the 40, in 40 minute EMOMs, all the, all the little small stuff really stuck out to me. I tried different programmings, but HWPO really, really, really stuck to me. And I've seen huge improvements since I started with them. This is definitely my first time at any training camp. I mean, it's awesome that they invited me here. It's such a privilege to be here and to just to gain so much knowledge from everyone here all the amazing people, all the specific, you know, people that are here for specific strongman stuff, for weightlifting, Matt Frazier, just all the little things that they tell us, all the small tips that they give us, it's, it makes a huge difference. And yeah, I could definitely take that back home with me. The biggest takeaway for me is just sticking to what I've been doing, just all the little things that they, they, they help us with, um, with my weaknesses, with how I need to recover, with what I need to fuel myself with, all the things that they're preaching on us is just, that those are the small things I'll take away from from all this. All this program is just uh, bench and deadlifts, but they said that they're doing deadlifts later. I love it. I mean, that was like we just want to we want to provide more and more services for for the athletes, and so if they are willing to make the trip out here, we're willing to put in the work and help in any way possible. 
Okay. You know, but we want we want to have that place that people can come and just work on their weaknesses, get better. So the really cool thing with being with HWPO is I have the HWPO Strong Track. Obviously, I also do the individualized strength programming for our elite athletes, but I also do program the strength pieces for our pro track as well. So I think it's something really cool is now that we have this amazing space, we're able to open up the doors a little bit to give more people access directly to us and just the really honestly the elite level coaching staff that we have. Obviously, we all work under Matt. Um, he's really the brains of the operation, him and Jake. But then, you know, we're able to pull myself and Amy into the fold and really give these really unique opportunities to a lot of different athletes. Well, looks like they're starting to lift some barbells, so I think it's time to get, get strong. It's been awesome here, dude. Um, everybody's coming in from out of town. Uh, Raphael and Taylor, they, they do the pro program. Um, they've been hanging out with us, doing a few Metcons, pushing us. It's been awesome, man. The next few weeks, I'm gonna be preparing for semifinals. That's gonna be week two in the West, in Pasadena. So I'll be prepping for that, you know, hopefully getting my body, getting everything ready for that specific weekend. It's such a great environment to train in, and I definitely wanna be around all these amazing people here. So what, what do you what do you typically struggle with? The is, that's for us, me mainly it's just the yeah. easy fact of like, like a, the like just the the volume. Make it like after like a certain amount of reps, I just shoulder the team starts. I'll watch you for a second. Like you're doing it. What? Okay. Uh, and that's even yeah. with no deficit? That's, yeah, that's even with no deficit. Okay, so try to stick to 10 or 12 as long as you can. Um, and then once those start going, then we'll strip away the deficit and try to keep the volume. Okay, all right. All right. Tricep extended so you get people in the face. Like you think about handstand push up going here. Yeah, it's hot. Half, half the movement is just straightening your elbows. That's all you're trying to do is upside down. So look, look at the muscles that contribute to that camera. Uh, we found a lot of success with like supersetting handstand push up with deep presses. The weights he was talking about, anywhere from like 12 to 20 reps. Yeah, like we, we've been experimenting a lot with. The future for me being super bright and, you know, a lot of room for improvement. And honestly, I just want to keep, you know, like their mantra, showing up, working hard and making myself proud. And at the end of the day, whether I make it to my dreams, which is the CrossFit Games, um, until then I'm going to be, you know, working hard.